Welcome back. We've gone through how the equity markets are looking and what the trade setup for our own markets looks like as well. But let's now talk about how things are on the commodities end. We have Manisha joining us with an update. Uh, Manisha, take us through what's really played out over the weekend. Thank you for that, Pavitra. Well, I'll start with the crude oil prices where we are holding gains. There are lower exports from Russia. There are weather concerns there. And then Russia also has said that it would cut exports for the month of December by 50,000 barrels per day, more than what it had agreed earlier. Also, the attacks by Houthis on ships in Red Sea has been yet another reason that you have seen the crude oil prices hold above $70 a barrel. It has been good going for the metals as a sector also. The dollar index, after posting the biggest weekly decline in five months, is what really seems to be supporting metals. So you have copper prices trading in the positive. Aluminum gained 4.5% in the previous week, which is the best weekly gain in five months. And we are looking at many of these metals actually holding on to their gains right now as well. It's going to be about the Bank of Japan meeting. It's China loan prime rates coming in on Wednesday. And then Japan inflation data coming in on Friday. So this is the final set of data that you will see before the year ends. And it's going to be quite market moving in that sense. Oh, absolutely. We're waiting by for all of that data from Asia as well. Manisha, thanks a lot for getting us all of those details and that update on how the commodities are moving.